If you need more bandwidth speed than one internet connection can provide to you, Speed Fusion Connect Protect for bonding might be the answer. Start by connecting more than one internet service to your Peplink router. In this example, we're using an Ethernet connection and a cellular 5G connection. We're going to start by moving both connections into priority one since we need both to be connected simultaneously. Next, click on the SFC Protect tab at the top of the page. Select Client Mode for outbound accesses. Click where it says SFC Location and a drop-down menu will appear. You can either select Automatic or a location nearest yours. We're just going to select Automatic. Then click the green checkmark to the right to save the setting. A link for SFC will appear to the left. Click on this and you can give the connection a name if you'd like. Otherwise, scroll down to the bottom of the page and confirm your WAN or internet connections are all in priority one. All that are in priority one will be bonded together. Click save at the bottom when done. Then click apply changes at the top right. Next, click on the SFC tab again. Click route by Wi-Fi SSID. At the next page, to set the reference SSID to use. This should give you a list of the current Wi-Fi names configured on the router. Click the plus sign to the right if you need to add more or click the red X if you need to delete ASSID. When done, click Save, then Apply Changes. Now that the changes have been applied, we'll go back to the dashboard page and verify our Speed Fusion connection is established, and I see that it is. Now let's say that you have some devices that connect via Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi. In this case, go back to the SFC Protect tab and click Route by LAN Client. As long as your Ethernet devices are connected to the router, you can click on the client field and see a list of the connected devices. Select one at a time and click the plus sign to the right to add additional. If you need to remove any devices, click the red X to the right of that device. Alternatively, if you want to make the bonded connection available to all Wi-Fi and Ethernet connections, this can easily be done with an outbound policy rule. Navigate to the advanced tab for this feature. This particular router has some custom rules already in place, but we'll create a new one for this purpose. In the rule window, give it a service name to identify it. Check the enable box. Set the source, destination, and protocol to any. Set the algorithm to priority and a new field will appear below called priority order. Refer to the not in use column and click the SSC protect connection and drag it to the highest priority column to the left. It should be the very first one listed followed by each of your internet connections. Leave the rest of the settings as is, then click Save at the bottom of the window. Lastly, click Apply Changes at the top right. That completes the Speed Fusion setup to ensure your devices have as much bandwidth and reliability as your connections can provide together. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.